Okay, this will be the third part of our building up this foundation for this uh, Bozell. And I've cut my ends off. I've put my glue on. I put my plug in and got it glued in. Then I cut me a strip of leather and I've cut it down to a feather edge. You can see I got a little deep on this one side. But uh, now my glue is ready to glue this on. And I'm going to glue it on just like this. I'm going to put it on the top. Get it kind of centered. And I want that to come just to this edge. Oop, I don't want that much fold in it. Where I have that glued down. Or to that feathered edge. There we go. And I just want to work that down. So that it, now I want it to come to this edge. And I work that down. And when I cut those ends off, I cut them kind of long and then I staggered them and glued them down. And then I shaved the top so that uh, they would cut smooth. Now I just take my fid and I work those wrinkles out. So try to get that as smooth as I can. And then wherever there's a hump I'll go back in and uh, like right there there's a kind of a hump I'll go back and I'll cut that off but I just work those down And as I'm doing it, I'm kind of waiting for my glue to dry a little. Because it's hard to push it down if your glue isn't completely dry. I thought mine was pretty good, but there's a spot or two. But then I'll be able to put my maker's mark right here in this end. But... Uh, I'll continue to pull these ends down to smooth that up. I'll uh, get my utility knife and right here on this end where that come across, I'll just cut it off. You know, I had it to a feather end edge on the bottom, but now I want that, and here's where I was saying there's a little bit of a hump. I'll take that off, and I'll smooth this down. I'm trying to stay in my frame. Because you want that as smooth as you can get it. Now, right in here, I want to put some tape across here so that there's no way that as I tie my knot, that my fid will poke up underneath my leather. And uh, it'll fill in. I got a little bit of a hole right there. The tape will fill that up and we get the 
this little edge right here. And I don't like the leather to come down over this part where the knot's going to bite. Because I like the knot to be biting into these strands because those strands are very secure. There's no way they could ever come loose or peel up or anything where if you had your leather clear over the top if there was some way that your glue didn't stick you wouldn't want this leather to slide off with your underneath your knot because your knot could come loose. But that is looking, and then right there, there's a little hump. Well, that might just be that it's raised up. My tape will take care of that. Okay, I think that is pretty smooth. And the tape that I use is just Scott's freezer tape because this tape is designed for when you package meat and put it in the freezer. This is supposed to stick to 40 below. But I like to just put me a piece of tape right there. And now I'll put one right there to smooth that transition up. Now I'll go to the other side and I'll put one up here. Get my old dry glue out from under it so I don't have a bump. And now, I think on that one, I'll take it all the way around my knot so that there isn't any place that my awl's going to stab up through underneath my leather. Work that down. And now I'll put one about right there and work it down so that it's smooth. Get it back over here where we started. Work any of my ridges out and then before I tie my knot on and as everything gets dried out I'll probably roll this a little just to make sure that my tape has sealed good but uh, that is my foundation for under my knot for this bozelle. I hope you've enjoyed watching the way I do that and thank you for watching.